Imagine a future where humanity thrives beyond Earth, not just surviving, but living comfortably in the vastness of space. For this dream to become reality, we must conquer one of space's most formidable challenges, the absence of gravity. Prolonged weightlessness poses severe threats to human health, but groundbreaking technologies are emerging to create artificial gravity, paving the way for sustainable off-world habitation. Life on Earth evolved under the constant pull of gravity. Our bodies are exquisitely adapted to this environment and removing it has profound detrimental effects. Understanding these impacts is crucial to appreciating the urgency of artificial gravity research. Without gravity, our bones lose density at an alarming rate, becoming brittle and prone to fractures. Muscles atrophy, weakening our ability to move and perform tasks. The cardiovascular system struggles as blood no longer needs to be pumped against gravity, leading to reduced heart size and orthostatic intolerance upon return to Earth. Fluid shifts cause facial puffiness and leg thinning, while vision problems, including spaceflight-associated neuroocular syndrome, SANs, have become a significant concern for astronauts. The immune system can be suppressed, and even psychological well-being is affected by the constant disorientation and lack of a down. Artificial gravity is not just a convenience. It's a necessity for long-duration missions and permanent space settlements. The most intuitive and widely studied method for generating artificial gravity involves rotation. By spinning a spacecraft or habitat, an inertial force, known as centrifugal force, is created, pushing inhabitants towards the outer walls and simulating a gravitational pull. This concept has captivated scientists and engineers for over a century. When an object moves in a circular path, it experiences an outward-directed force. In a rotating space station, the floor becomes the down direction. As the station spins, occupants are pressed against the floor, experiencing a sensation akin to gravity. The strength of this artificial gravity depends on the radius of the rotation and the speed at which the station spins. Early 20th century pioneers like Konstantin Tsiolkovsky and Hermann Oberth theorized about rotating space habitats. Werner von Braun, a key figure in rocketry, popularized the von Braun wheel concept in the 1950s, envisioning a large, wheel-shaped station providing artificial gravity. These early designs laid the groundwork for future, more complex proposals. One of the most iconic rotating habitat concepts is the Stanford Taurus, developed in the 1970s. This massive donut-shaped structure, several kilometers in diameter, was designed to house thousands of people. Its large radius would allow for a comfortable, one-joule environment with a slow rotation rate, minimizing adverse effects. The interior could even feature natural landscapes, complete with trees and rivers, creating a truly Earth-like environment. Even grander in scale are the O'Neill Cylinders, proposed by physicist Gerard K. O'Neill. These colossal habitats, potentially kilometers long and wide, would house millions. They consist of two counter-rotating cylinders to maintain stability and orientation towards the sun. The inner surface would be a habitable landscape, complete with atmosphere, clouds, and even simulated day-night cycles. These cylinders represent the ultimate vision for self-sustaining space colonies, where artificial gravity is fundamental to daily life. While conceptually elegant, building and operating large rotating space stations presents immense engineering hurdles. Maintaining precise mass balance is critical. Even slight imbalances could cause wobbling and instability. The sheer scale of these structures means incredibly high construction costs and complex in-orbit assembly. Docking other spacecraft becomes a significant challenge, requiring precise maneuvers relative to a constantly rotating structure. One of the most significant physiological challenges is the Coriolis effect. This apparent force deflects moving objects in a rotating frame of reference. In a rotating habitat, 
Walking or moving one's head can cause disorientation, nausea, and a sensation of being pushed sideways. The severity of the Coriolis effect is inversely proportional to the radius of the habitat. Larger radii and slower rotation rates minimize these uncomfortable sensations, but they cannot be entirely eliminated. Another consideration is the gravity gradient. In a rotating environment, the artificial gravity experienced by an occupant's head will be slightly less than that experienced by their feet, especially in smaller habitats. This difference can cause discomfort and affect balance. A larger radius helps to minimize this gradient, ensuring a more uniform gravitational experience across the body. Recognizing the complexities of fully rotating stations, innovative concepts are emerging that offer a more flexible approach to artificial gravity. One such design involves a non-rotating spacecraft with internal moving modules. This hybrid system aims to mitigate many of the challenges associated with traditional rotating habitats. NASA Ames Research Center has explored concepts like the Variable Gravity Research Facility, VGRF, in this design, the main spacecraft remains stationary, providing a stable platform for zero-gravity research, manufacturing, or living quarters. Artificial gravity is generated in separate, connected modules that travel along a circular path around the station's core. This approach offers several compelling advantages. Since the main spacecraft doesn't rotate, mass balance requirements are significantly reduced, simplifying construction and operation. Docking operations become much easier as incoming spacecraft can approach a stable, non-rotating target. The Coriolis effect and gravity gradient can be managed within the rotating modules, potentially allowing for different gravity levels in various sections. This flexibility could enable researchers to study the effects of partial gravity, mimicking conditions on the Moon or Mars. For situations where full habitat rotation isn't feasible or necessary, localized centrifuges offer a practical solution. These devices provide artificial gravity to individuals or small groups for specific durations, primarily to counteract the negative health effects of weightlessness. Short-arm centrifuges are compact devices where a person lies or sits and is spun at a high rate. The Institute of Biomedical Problems in Russia has developed such centrifuges for cosmonauts. These are intended for short duration use, perhaps for an hour or two a day, to provide a gravitational dose that stimulates the body and mitigates bone and muscle loss. While they induce significant Coriolis forces due to their small radius, the short exposure time makes them tolerable. MIT has pioneered compact human centrifuges that integrate exercise. By combining artificial gravity with physical activity, these devices aim to maximize the physiological benefits. Astronauts could perform resistance exercises while spinning, enhancing bone and muscle loading. This dual approach could be highly effective in maintaining crew health during long missions, offering a more efficient use of limited space and time. The Artificial Gravity Sleeper, AGS, is a specialized centrifuge designed for use during sleep. With a radius of approximately two meters, it rotates a subject around an axis through their head. The goal is to provide a continuous, low-level gravitational stimulus throughout the night, potentially preventing fluid shifts and maintaining cardiovascular health without requiring conscious effort from the astronaut this passive approach could be a game-changer for long-duration missions. While not a sustainable long-term solution, constant linear acceleration can also create artificial gravity. This is the sensation astronauts feel during a rocket launch, where the thrust pushes them into their seats, simulating gravity. The primary limitation of linear acceleration is the immense amount of fuel required. To maintain a continuous 1G acceleration for an extended period, a spacecraft would need to carry an impractical volume of propellant. This method is only viable for short bursts, such as during launch or specific orbital maneuvers, and not for creating a permanent living environment. 
However, for interstellar travel, advanced propulsion systems like nuclear fusion or antimatter drives, which could sustain acceleration for years, might make this a viable option in the distant future. Beyond the engineering marvels, a critical area of research focuses on the human element. What is the optimal level of artificial gravity for human health and comfort? How do we balance the benefits of gravity with the challenges of rotation? Scientists are studying the Goldilocks zone for artificial gravity. Is 1G necessary, or could partial gravity, like that found on Mars, 038G, or the Moon, 0.16G, be sufficient to prevent adverse health effects? Research suggests that even partial gravity might significantly mitigate bone and muscle loss. Determining the minimum effective dose of gravity is crucial for designing more efficient and less complex habitats. Extensive research is dedicated to understanding and mitigating the physiological effects of Coriolis forces and gravity gradients. Studies involve human subjects in ground-based centrifuges, testing various rotation rates, radii, and activity levels. The goal is to identify thresholds for human tolerance and develop countermeasures, such as specific training protocols or habitat design features that minimize these uncomfortable sensations. Another complex factor is cross-coupled angular accelerations, which occur when head movements are made in a rotating environment. These can lead to severe disorientation and motion sickness. Understanding these biomechanical interactions is vital for designing habitats where occupants can move freely and comfortably without experiencing debilitating symptoms. The quest for artificial gravity is a testament to humanity's ingenuity and our unwavering desire to explore and settle the cosmos. From colossal rotating cylinders to compact personal centrifuges, the technologies being developed are diverse and promising. As we push the boundaries of space exploration, artificial gravity will be a cornerstone of our ability to live and thrive beyond Earth. It will enable longer missions, healthier crews, and ultimately, the establishment of permanent human outposts on other celestial bodies. The dream of living in space, not just visiting, hinges on our ability to bring a piece of Earth's gravity with us. The ongoing research and development in artificial gravity are not just about technology, they are about ensuring the long-term health, well-being, and success of humanity's journey to become a multi-planetary species. Are you fascinated by the future of space exploration and the incredible engineering challenges involved? Dive deeper into the world of artificial gravity. Subscribe to our channel for more in-depth discussions on cutting-edge space technologies. Like this video if you learned something new and share it with fellow space enthusiasts to spread the word. Leave a comment below with your thoughts. What artificial gravity concept excites you the most? and why. Let's build the future of space together.